Hey guys, Joss here. Got the TRX 4 High Trail in the shop today, and uh, I got something kind of exciting to show you guys. It's a new RC four wheel drive, TRX 4 drop adjustable hitch. So, not very exciting, but what we can do with it is exciting. Because now, um, I'm gonna be able to tow my car trailer. I'm gonna be able to do some boat launches with this thing. So I'm really, really looking forward to it because um, as you can see right now, can't really do much towing with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this thing up, get it installed and um, yeah, hopefully I can do some towing with my high trail. It's been a while since I got it, since it was released. And um, I'm having an issue right now with my Sen uh, with the rear drive shaft, so won't be doing any towing with that right now. So uh, I'm really excited to get this high trail as a uh, kind of my new tow rig for right now. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is remove the old hitch. So I'm just going to take that screw off there and get this other one uh, put in here. And then it should just be a matter of uh, putting it in and putting the bolt through. So let's take the old one off here. Okay, I just want to point out here, so there's two holes. There's This is where I would normally put my bolt for my hitch. Um, I put the screw in there with a, with a nut on the end, so that way when the trailer is being pulled, it can't come out. Um, but there is a hole here. So I think what I might do is just take the screw that came with the kit, put some thread lock on it, and um, run it through this hole right into the hitch. I'm going to give that a try this time. Okay, and there it is. Pretty simple install, just putting a screw in there, but um, it is down all the way. I do find it still a little bit high, but um, once we add some weight of the trailer, um, should be fine. So, <clears throat> like I said, it's, uh, you know, not too exciting, just a trailer hitch, but it's what we're gonna be able to do with this trailer hitch now that we're gonna be able to tow with the high trail. And of course, we've got the ESS dual sound unit in this light kit, uh, so it should look pretty cool towing. Okay, so for the actual trailer hookup, I've upgraded the trailer for this scale looking uh, hitch, so it's pretty cool. It sits on your ball, and then this metal, oops, uh, this metal tab pushes up in there, and then you have a cotter pin that goes through that locks the trailer in place. Okay, we got the trailer locked in place. Now, this wire here, I was supposed to have another wire coming from the actual truck to plug in here, just like a real trailer wiring. This plug here is to power the winch. I get a winch right here in my trailer. And then this light, or this switch here, is for the actual trailer lights. Um, and this, this here was also an upgrade. So this trailer came with a small, almost like a receiver box on here. So I've upgraded to this bigger one. It's a little bit messy right now, but um, so you got some tow chains in here. Of course our wiring in there as well, but um, pretty cool, handy little thing. Um, so can't wait to get this trailer out now. Got my scent on there. So it should be pretty cool and look at that like look at that barely barely any droop at all on there let's see trailer is fairly level so that's good so this thing uh, should tow along pretty good so hoping i can get outside and get some footage for you guys at the end of this video so stay tuned okay guys we're all rigged up here um so i just wanted to take this thing out and see how it tows now I do apologize, it is a little bit windy out here. Also, my light kit decided not to work um, just before recording this video. And it's uh, pretty cold out here, so I'm not gonna really troubleshoot that right now, but um, you guys know how it goes with RCs. There's always something. So um, anyways, we're gonna carry on here with the video.
next part. Thank you.